This video is about how to make a remote desktop connection from Windows 10 to Ubuntu 20.04. In my former life, I was a public school teacher who taught both Windows and Linux computers to high school students. I constantly strive to get my Windows machines to play nicely with my Linux machines. Virtual machines seemed a good fit to work on establishing Windows Linux connections. One school year before VirtualBox came out, it took me over 40 hours to get Ubuntu to play nicely on MS Virtual PC. That's how difficult it can get. After VirtualBox came out, I worked on getting Ubuntu to play nicely with Windows through the remote desktop protocol. After retiring from teaching, I created many YouTube videos on how to obtain a remote desktop connection to Ubuntu and its minions, Mate, Zubuntu, Mint, etc. The last few years, I haven't kept up with all the changes, but I am currently back to creating additional educational videos again using the Creative Commons copyright. This video uses an installer script from Synergy.be from Belgium, so I would like to give credit where credit is due. Throughout my years of searching for the one righteous Windows Ubuntu remote desktop connection, I have found one organization that has constantly provided excellent and timely information on how to do this, Synergy.be. With this Griffin's IT library, in the Linux XRDP category, has consistently published valuable information on Windows Ubuntu remote desktop connections. So if you or your organization requires professional assistance on how to support these types of connections, I would strongly suggest you contact them. From the free information they publish, I would hazard a guess that their paid support is world class. And no, this is not one of those YouTube paid promotions. It's simply a shout out to an organization that provides superb educational materials freely. The outcomes for this video are to set up Ubuntu to use remote desktop. Basically, this involves making sure that a virtual machine and a Windows machine is on the same local network. Install XRDP using Griffin script from Synergy.be. Set up RDP on the Windows machine and verify RDP works by making a connection. Requirements include an Ubuntu 20.04 computer or virtual machine, a Windows 10 computer or virtual machine, an internet connection, and a local network. Additional info, some links to Synergy.be, software used in video production, and of course a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. In order for your Ubuntu machine to connect to the Windows computer, it has to be on the same network. On this situation, I've got a virtual machine, but the same applies if you're running an actual hardware machine. Now, on the virtual machine, the way to fix this and make sure they're on the same network is to go to the network right here and change the adapter from NAT, if it is, isn't changed already, to bridged adapter. By using bridge adapter, the first three numbers of this virtual machine will match the first three numbers of the Windows machine. So click OK. And once that's done, let's go ahead and start this up. Once it comes up, let's log in. And we'll open up a terminal, Control alt t And we'll do an IPADDR for address. And right here you'll see it's address is 192.168.1.13. So basically, when I'm talking about the first three numbers, the Windows machine must also have the same 192.168.1. Of course, it will have a different fourth number here. It won't be 13. It'll be something else. So here I am at uh, Griffin's IT library. I'm going to show you how to download and install the script. But let's go down to uh, page where it's located. And it's right here. It's easy install XRDP on Ubuntu and includes version 20.04, which is what I'm using. Let's continue reading. 
I suggest you read the entire instructions because there are some things here that might create some problems for you if you're not uh, careful. Well, it's added the pop OS, which is done by a Linux uh, hardware company. I, I Off the top of my head, I forgot the name. And a budgie desktop from Ubuntu. One thing I like, it's got sound redirection in uh, Ubuntu. And I've used that before, especially when connecting to Ubuntu 18.04. So I haven't checked to see how it does in uh, 20.04. And so here we go to download the script. You can download it here, or you can go to the uh, terminal, use wget, one thing. Let's change to the downloads directory, so everything we download on this Ubuntu machine will be at one place. Using wget, here's the URL, or uniform resource located. Hit enter, download it. I do an ls. And there it is. And let's unzip it. Unzip. X. So now it's unzipped. But we're going to have to change the permission on it. So chmod plus X. X. Add the SH. So now I can run the installer script. And it's going to take a while to run. And you should be connected to the internet while you're running this script because it may download some additional modules. That's for your password. Now when you run it, don't use sudo. That's all taken care of, and basically you're uh, installing it for this one user. In my case, it would be Mike. So now it's installed, and if you add some things like sound redirection, it's going to take a, quite a bit longer. And one thing you want to do here afterwards, because you can't be logged in to use this script. Again, I should reiterate, please read the directions there, because there are some little ins and outs like if you want to change the way the script runs the second time or add sound add sound redirection which I didn't use you would have to uninstall the script and then reinstall it you just can't rerun the script a second time so because you can't be logged in I'm going to do a sudo reboot So there that is, it's ready to be logged in. So now I've got to do some things on the Windows machine to make sure that it will connect. So hopefully you've got your remote desktop connection already working on your Windows machine and you've hooked it up to different Windows machines. And I'm not going to cover everything that it's involved in hooking up your remote desktop connection. But I'm going to show you some options that you should follow through here. Show options. As far as local resources are concerned, check clipboard, but don't check printers. Let's go to more, check drives, and leave everything else unchecked. And that's okay there. Display, display the connection bar when I use a full screen. You can play around with these and see what you have according to what kind of monitor you're using. And I think I'm going to use 1920 by 1080 pixels because I've got what's called a 4K monitor, and we'll see how that works. Once everything is done, I'm going to go back to general, and it's 192.168.113, and I'm going to click connect. And up comes this remote desktop connection. Click connect, and it asks about the certificate. And because I know this is my own virtual machine or my own laptop, I'm going to click this. And again, I want to remind you, you have to be logged off to connect to your Ubuntu machine or essentially not logged on and click yes. And so it asks for a username and password. And I've got the black screen of death, don't I? Whoops, there it is. And that's my connection to an Ubuntu machine, to my virtual Ubuntu machine. And I'm logged on as myself. That's basically all there is. These XRDP installation scripts from Griffon to work real well. Occasionally I found some problems with them, but they are really the best I've ever seen out in the network. So good luck with this and uh, thank you.